Hi everyone, it's Kaylee Ann. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today with a super fun haul for you. So this is a fall haul from Pharmacist Daughter and this was kind of spontaneous but also not. I mean, I've been eyeing some of these things for a while now and so I just thought this would be a lot of fun to go ahead and pick up. And so I'm just gonna kind of go through really quick and sort through, I got two samplers and then a bunch of other random things. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through, sort through, make sure my samplers are like separated and then I'll come right back and we will get started. All right, so I am back, I have everything sorted out and I'll be able to get started. It is so hot, I apologize if I'm sweating and like, it is, I don't know about where you guys are, but literally I think the high today was 102 and I just can't with that, that is just so, not me so this has been a lot for me um, this heat wave has been a little bit too much for me so I'm hoping it's supposed to start cooling down like tomorrow um, and then by next week I think we're down into the 80s so it's gonna be quite a big drop but I am like <gasps> and it was just Labor Day weekend and we went camping and seriously I don't remember the last time we camped on Labor Day when it was 100 degrees it was just too much so also I apologize about uh, my shoes back there I just kind of came home and kicked them off and as you can tell that's what I've been doing so whoops <laughs> um, sorry I just I know like you guys can see that and, yeah so we're gonna go ahead and jump in I'm gonna start with my like things like my shapes and just the different bags and stuff and then I'll jump into the samplers at the end so like I said I don't really know where to put this I guess I'll just hold it in my lap so like I said this was a fall haul and so everything in here is fall themed I think actually there might be one or two things that are not but most everything is fall themed so which is really exciting okay so oops hold on let me um hold on one second let me make sure I think I know I just like paused the video to sort through my samplers but now I'm did I I'm thinking I might have okay no there it is okay sorry okay so the first item I have is called tipsy toast and this is in a bunt shape and I will try to go ahead and take things out um tipsy toast is french toast candied apples and maple bourbon and so this one was a nice pleasant surprise for me so this was it looks like this you do get that maple bourbon but also the candied apples comes out really nice and then like the cinnamon from the french toast is really good i would get this again you're going to see that as a theme in here i there's a lot of things in here that i would actually repurchase again and again because they're that good and you guys it's so hard for me to believe that i went through a phase where i didn't know if i loved the pharmacist daughter you know when you hear different things online it can kind of sway your thoughts and opinions and this is like this order like solidified it for me they do such a good job and everything that I've used aside from the very first thing I used has performed really well so this is super good I'm super excited to give this a try up next we have this little acorn and this is in the scent sugared pine cones this is roasted pine cones pink sugar and pie crust and so this one definitely leans a little bit more so it looks like this um christmas because obviously it's that that sugared pine um but i also think like it would be a nice deep fall scent so what i'm deep might not be the right word but like in the like smack middle of fall when it's cold and everything fall is happening and maybe just that transition time to the, the holidays so good i'm really excited for this and i really wish i would have gotten this in a larger quantity i don't know if they were offering it in a larger quantity or not but um i should have at least gotten two of those because that's super good all right up next we have another bunt and this one is in trick-or-treat trick-or-treat is cider lane marshmallow fireside and pumpkin pecan waffles and i'm really starting to get into pumpkin pecan waffles I didn't know if I liked it at first and now the more I smell it the more I like it so this is really good this is like um I think the first thing I'm getting is the pumpkin pecan waffles and then the cider lane and marshmallow fi marshmallow fireside honestly mix so well together this is just really really good and again another one I would totally buy more of 
Like this is gonna be a hit. And it's already so strong. Everything I'm smelling is already so strong. And I obviously am gonna give it some cure time, but I'm, I mean, I think this stuff will be ready for like October, November. So really exciting. Okay, up next we have these, and I can never remember. I think she just calls these snap bars, but I, I could be wrong. I can never remember for some reason. And this is in the scent Fruit and Woods. Fruit and Woods is pine needles, fir, balsam, sweet berries, spices, and pear. So I thought this would just be a nice, I really like woodsy berry fall scents and I thought this one would be nice. I think this is one of the only ones that I'm not like super impressed with. Um, it's very, I don't know that I, I just don't think I like the mix of berries and woods that are in here. And like when I read, you know, pine, balsam, fir, I really think of tree notes and I'm really not getting that. So is there cedar in here? No. So it's okay. I think it could be a good bathroom scent. It kind of screams bathroom to me. So we'll give it a try and on warm, it could totally be better. But like I said, this is one of the only ones in this whole box that I'm just not sure about. So uh, that's a win for me. Okay, up next we have these tiles in the scent Snuggle Up. Snuggle Up is Patchouli Rain, Ezra, I'm not really sure what that is, Cranberry Woods and Woolen Blankets. Um, this one's really good but is slightly light. So that woolen blankets is coming out first, that nice cozy, like, um, I guess like laundry cottony scent is coming out first. And then I'm getting the patchouli rain. It's very good. I could see this being nice on like one of those, the first cold days of fall when you just want to snuggle up, like the name says, super good. Um, it has, it's these little tiles. So there's that one and then there's this round one. So I like these because I get two melts out of them pretty much um, and that's good for me. Sometimes, sometimes even like only, I mean, if you are like a generous melter, you could probably just cut these in half, like each tile in half and put half in each warmer and it'd be great. So I sometimes will cut them in fours, but you could totally do half in each warmer. So good. Okay, up next is another pack of tiles. And this is in the scent Mountain Fall. And Mountain Fall is Mountain Pine, Blue Sugar, and Marshmallow Fireside. So I'm really enjoying Marshmallow Fireside lately too. And this is good. This is so good. So let's see. Mountain Pine, Blue Sugar. I think the Blue Sugar is coming out first. And, it's, and then the Pine. And then the marshmallow fire side. This is just really good. This to me isn't even like, it doesn't scream fall in my opinion. Like I really think this might be even good for transitioning into spring. I really like this. So I don't think I'm going to use it this fall actually. I think I'm going to hold off on it because I think it could be a good early spring scent too. So that was Mountain Fall. Up next we have what I think is my favorite in the whole box and it's so simple. These are her blender donuts and this is just apple cider donut. And this is one of my favorite scent oils for fall. I love this and I love like apple fritter oils. I could just sit and smell this forever. This is so good. And I love these blender donuts because they're made with single scent oils most of the time to blend or like nice just base scents. And yeah, I mean, I could blend this, but honestly I could also just not blend it and um, enjoy it for like, on its own. So this is really, really good. So this is apple cider donut. Up next, we'll go with another, yeah. So this is called Break the Ice in her snap bars. And Break the Ice is icy peppermint, buttermints, spearmint, pink sugar, and toasted marshmallow. And this one is so good. I love scents like this. I love minty, like buttermints is one of my favorite scents. And I love just mixing the mints with the, what did I say, pink sugar and toasted mallow. Oh, this is so good. And these are like some of my favorite scents to put in the bedroom just because like they're calming. Um, the peppermint, I just like peppermint when I go to relax in my room. So good. I would highly recommend this one. I mean, I would highly recommend everything I've been showing you because it's so good. Okay, up next, we'll go with this little pumpkin. So this is a little pumpkin in the scent Lumberjack. 
and lumberjack is pine, neroli, shea, apple, cinnamon, fir, and cedar, and wood shavings. So this, sorry, I'm trying to make sure my dogs aren't going to start barking. Because every time a car drives by, I swear they are just ready to go. Okay, so yeah, you really get the cedar and the wood shavings. Like that is what I primarily get from this. I think the neroli is coming out as like a little citrusy scent, but this is, if you like very earthy, outdoorsy scents, you would like this. If you don't, you probably wouldn't. I'm somewhere in the middle. I like those scents um, when I'm in the mood for them. So definitely this will come in handy. Um, it's good, it's good. I just am gonna have to figure out the right time and place to melt this because it's not something that I feel like I wanna be smelling in my open concept all the time. But mm, it is good. Like I could keep smelling. It almost smells like there's mint in it. Did I read that there was mint? No. It almost smells minty, but that might be coming from the different mixes of the tree scents and then the wood shavings. So that's really good. I do like that a lot. Okay, up next I have, before we get to the samplers, I have two, I can't remember if she called these breakaway bars or what she called them, but I have two of them. So the first one is not necessarily fall. This is in the scent Splash. And Splash is Blue Sugar, Palo Santo, and Rain. And these are, I really also like, I like scents like this in the bedroom and bathroom as well. They're just nice for those spaces and um, very masculine because of the blue sugar, the Palo Santo, and then the rain comes out nice. So this is what these bars look like. They're pretty big. I mean, this is compared to my hand. So pretty large. I would say knowing pharmacist's daughter, I probably want to do at least three little pieces in a warmer. But there might be people out there who would say two would be okay too. And then there might be others who would say, no, you need four, so a whole row. I would say between two and three. So this is really good. I like this a lot. Every time I smell it, it just gets better and better. And I cannot wait to have this one in the bedroom. It'll be perfect for, and the bathroom, for the fall and winter. So again, not a super fall scent, but, but I also think those things lean pretty like cold weather to me. Okay, and then we have this breakaway bar and this is in the scent Fall Vibes. And Fall Vibes is apples, cinnamon, cloves, and roasted pine cones. And I can open it. Yeah, I mean, this is good. Again, it's kind of strange. It's kind of like the ber berries and woods or whatever that one was where and I definitely think it's the apple in this one. The apple is coming through and I'm not sure that I love the way it mixes with the pine, but it's it's good. I, I guess to me, instead of being like fall vibes, it's definitely more winter vibes. I probably will wait and hold off and melt this in the winter because that's kind of what it leans more to me, but it's good, it's good. And I think pine does that for me. Like pine definitely leans more Christmas winter for me than fall, so. All right. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot. Hold on. I just dropped a little sample cup. I totally, ah, crash. I'm having a crash. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I totally forgot about the sample that came with the order. So you always get a sample. Um, this was kind of buried, but this is in custard and this is just a scent shot. It's not a scoop or anything. This is so good. So I was smelling this when I first got the box and I think this would go so well with wild berry mousse and i think i have a wild berry mousse sample from l3 that i could chop up like it's just a little sample one but if i mixed it with this i could chop it and get it into a few warmers this is so good it smells just like custard so good so if you get an opportunity to get her custard and you like single oil like single scents like this as blenders this would be a really good one to get it smells just like custard Okay, so the two samplers that I got, I got the apple sampler and I got the pumpkin pecan waffle sampler. And each sampler comes with six scent shots like this, except I think this is like, so this is like the scent shot size you would get from like Fantasy Wax or a lot of other vendors will use this size. This, if you can tell, is, is double. So if this is two, I don't know if this is one ounce or two, this is double, so they're big, is what I'm trying to say. 
These are large samples and you're gonna get a lot out of them. Um, I would say something like this. So for famous, uh, pharmacist daughter souffles, which are a little bit bigger than this and maybe a little deeper, but definitely like a little bigger, I would cut those into six, but I could see maybe possibly even cutting this into six. I'll probably do fours. Um, but you could probably cut this into sixes as well and get a little more out of it. So these are good. So we're going to go through the apple sampler first. So the first one is in the scent Fufu and Fufu is Mac apple, lavender, cotton candy. So I love the scents like this for bed, the bedroom, as I've said many times, and you're probably sick of it. Um, this is so good. So the lavender and the apple come out first and the cotton candy you get, like if you sniff and then pull it away, the cotton candy is like that last scent that your nose gets. This is super good and I'm really excited to have this in my bedroom. Mm, I love lavender, I love apple, and what did I say? Oh, and cotton candy, yeah, this is good. So delish. Up next for the apple sampler is um, apple woods. And Apple Woods, or sorry, I don't know, Apple Blondie. I don't know why I was, yeah, Apple Blondie. And Apple Blondie is Mac Apple, Brown Sugar, Cuppy Cake, Vanilla, and Vanilla Frosted Cinnamon Rolls. Apple Woods, I don't know what I was even thinking. And this is good. This is a really nice bakery. So what did I say? So yeah, the apple comes out, and then the vanilla frosting is what I'm getting next. It almost has a buttercream scent. And then brown sugar. Yeah, I don't know. It's just a really nice apple bakery. Really, really good. And a good size, like I said. So that one's yummy. All right. Is there an apple woods in here? Because I don't know why I said that. Okay, up next is rich and creamy. In this red color. And rich and creamy is mac apple, birthday cake, French custard, and marshmallow fluff. Now, I don't know if the French custard in here is the same as this custard. This just says custard, so I'm not sure if it's the same. But this is really good. Another really nice um, and not as heavy of an apple bakery as the last one, as the apple blondie. This is just a really nice one. This may be even good for the bathroom. I don't tend to put bakery in the bathroom, but honestly, this could do in the bathroom, I think. I really like this. Mm, Mac apple. Marshmallow fluff, French custard, birthday cake. This is good. Yum. I like this a lot. So one of my favorites from the apple sampler for sure. Up next, we have, um, let's see. This is Fireside Cider in this gray color. And Fireside Cider is mold cider and marshmallow fireside. And... Yeah, this is good. Um, the Marshmallow Fireside is very heavy in this. Like that's the first thing I would say that I'm getting. But that mold cider is there and it kind of calms down the smokiness of the Marshmallow Fireside, which I like. Yeah, this is gonna be a good one. This would be a good one like if you do have fires like in, in a fire pit in your yard or if you go camping and you have a uh, warmer in your camper. This would be really good for that kind of thing because it kind of would match the vibe, so. I like that one a lot. Up next is, let's see, did we already, yeah, apple dumpling. Mm. An apple dumpling is mac apple funnel cake vanilla butter fudge. Sorry, this label is a little bit smudged. So mac apple funnel, funnel cake and vanilla butter fudge. Now, I don't like vanilla butter fudge, and I will say that is the first thing I get. However, I think on warm, this is gonna be good because I'm getting a little bit of that apple in the background and the funnel cake is just gonna add a nice like fried scent. So I'm not gonna say I don't like it until I melt it, we'll see how it goes, but um, probably my least favorite out of the pack, the apple sampler, but still good. And then last but not least um, for apples is Gone Bobbing. Oh, I remember this one's really good too. Okay, Gone Bobbing is apples, maple bourbon, candied apples, and flannel. So if I remember right, I really, yeah, this is good. So this is another one that would be, I'm probably gonna use, whoa, in the bathroom. And this is super yummy. 
And honestly, my three favorites from this apple pack are like the more, like the ones that are less bakery and stuff. So Gone Bobbing, um, I really like Fufu. That one's really good. And then the other one, was it Rich and Creamy? I think it was, hold on. It wasn't apple dumplings, it wasn't the fireside one, it wasn't the blondie, so yeah, it was the rich and creamy, which actually I have heard of before with Pharmacist Daughter and I've heard that people like it. So it doesn't shock me that I like it. So this one's really good. So there's a lot in, in that pack that I would reorder again in larger quantities. Okay, up next we have the pumpkin pecan waffle sampler and these ones are really fun. They're all in these like fall colors, like orange, brown, tan so these ones are really fun to like look at and they smell really good too so up first we have pumpkin season and pumpkin season is pumpkin donut pumpkin pecan waffles and marshmallow fluff and i love any type of donut scent and this is no different so good it's just like such a nice like lovely bakery i love donut scents yeah that one's really good Okay, so that one you really get, I would say pumpkin season is a fitting name for this one. You really get that pumpkin donut and the, honestly, I will say the pumpkin pecan waffle I think is on the back side of this one. So this is really good. Up next, we have Hollow's Eve. And this is another one I had heard of before as being really good. Hollow's Eve is Cracklin' Birch and pumpkin pecan waffles. Now, I don't typically like Cracklin' Birch. Uh, whoa, dropped the lid. And yeah, I mean, this is okay. I'll melt it. I think it'll be a good evening melt, fall evening melt, when you've got like all your fall decor up and you've got the lights turned down low in your living space and you're watching a movie or you're cooking or something. I think it would be good, maybe not cooking. I'm not sure how this would, this smell would actually match with cooking, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. If for being that I don't like Cracklin' Birch very much, it is pretty decent. So I'll let you guys know, like with all of these, when I melt them in my empties and unempties and stuff, how that goes. Okay, up next we have Different is Beautiful. And Different is Beautiful is pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, vanilla buttercream, and birthday cake. Not sure the story behind the name, but this is very vanilla bakery. So if you like vanilla, this is a must have for you you don't like vanilla I would honestly say skip it it's very heavy vanilla I'm okay with vanilla um, not my favorite but I'm okay with it so it's very good you're getting that heavy vanilla vanilla buttercream for sure so it's good but it's definitely not like super heavy in the pumpkin pecan waffle okay up next we have pumpkin spice and pumpkin spice is pumpkin pecan waffles sugar and spice sugar and spice and apple butter and caramel sorry some of these labels are coming like slightly smudged so um this is delicious this is so good and I think you guys it's because I'm that apple butter is in there and I'm really really picking up the apple butter I have been loving apple scents like crazy I've been loving apple scents this is so good this is probably my favorite from this pack pumpkin spice so good i wouldn't say it smells like a pumpkin spice latte or anything like that and it doesn't say it's supposed to be a latte i wouldn't say like i'm getting straight pumpkin spice scent but it's so good and it's so fall and i love the color of it sorry i haven't been showing you guys like the tops because some of them the they have little pieces that i don't want that to, them to fall but i love this mm, that one's really good all right up next i have I think I already did that one. Hold on. Yeah, I did that one. Okay, so up next I have this one. This is Fall Birthday. And Fall Birthday is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Fruity Pebbles, and Birthday Cakes. This is another favorite from this sampler. Yeah, um, it's very Fruity Pebble heavy, heavy. But honestly, guys, I went through a little bit of time where I did not want cereal scents. And now it's like making my mouth water. Oh, my gosh. I need some Fruity Pebbles. This is so good. I might have to get some when we go to the store. I know it's not healthy, but it sounds so good. Okay, and last but not least for the order and for this, this pumpkin pecan waffle sampler, we have almond pumpkin cookies. 
and almond pumpkin cookies is pumpkin pecan waffles of fried almond cookies and warm vanilla sugar. So I really like this one because I am not the type of person who likes cherry, heavy almond or pistachio. And this one is just perfect. It like smells like you can smell almond in this, but it's not too much. It's very good. So this is really, really good. I would repurchase this. Um, I would say out of my, the pumpkin pecan waffle sampler, I really like this one. And then the other one that I really liked out of here was pumpkin spice. Um, so yeah, that is my order from Pharmacist Daughter, my fall haul, <laughs> and I love it. I highly recommend you guys check out their site right now. They have a ton up there. Um, I know, and I've said this before about Pharmacist Daughter, there is mixed things online. I've seen the mixed opinions um, from various people, and you know, I think we have to remember in this community that we all have different homes, we all have different spaces, we all have different scent preferences, um, and we all have different setups. And I mean, I know for me, I've got floor warmers in my open concept, and that might be contributing to why it is performing so well, as opposed to someone who maybe doesn't have as many warmers is not getting the performance. So I will say for me, my opinion is settled with Pharmacist Daughter. I really like it. Everything I've used, except for one thing at the beginning of my journey with them has performed very well. It throws, it lasts quite a while. I really like it. Everything I smell on cold is amazing, particularly her fall, fall, her fall stuff has been my favorite, but I will say particularly her fruity and fresh type scents are doing, are do really well for me and smell really good to me. I don't love her coffee scents and I am a coffee scent lover. So that was interesting to me to kind of figure out. I don't love her coffee scents and I don't love her heavy, heavy bakery scents, but everything else is really, really good. Um, and I would recommend giving them a try. The prices are decent. Like it's right alongside with everything else. The wax is, it's not too hard. It's not too soft. Like right now it's been sitting in my 75 degree home all day. And I don't know if you can tell, but there is a little like not give when I push on it, but when I like rub my finger on it, it does, I know I'm like holding it really bad. Um, you probably can't tell, but you can see that it is kind of smearing a little bit. So it's not too hard. It's not too soft. It's just beautiful. And I would highly recommend. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you're staying cool because I am not and it's agitating me and it's agitating my kindergartners. And luckily we do have AC at our school, but I feel really bad because I know that there are some schools in on the west coast where there are heat waves right now where they don't have ac and that's a problem so i'm really thankful and grateful that we do at our school um, but i know everyone is not as lucky so you know um, anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope you're staying cool and i do have so you just saw my op october my august empties and on empties um, I have my September melting basket coming out. I know it's coming out a little late, but it is what it is. And then I have, but I'm going to film right after this, an L3 haul. Um, so I'll go ahead and get that filmed for you guys. So you'll probably see that after this one. Um, I've been doing, I did way too much shopping over Labor Day weekend. It's not that there were any sales or anything, but it seemed like so many vendors were having like pre-orders and stuff. So I had, I like ordered from Sassy Girl. I ordered from Teddy B's. I ordered from from um, Kathy's scoop or scoopable tart wax because she wasn't like releasing anything but she had a ton on her website and I've been wanting to order from her um, I ordered from bathing garden and that won't be here for a while and then there was somewhere else I believe that I placed an order with but I can't remember so I ordered a lot and I think I even ordered again from L3 I got some other scents that I had been eyeing so I have a lot of wax coming. Most of it is fall um, because when I did my fall collection and when I did my September melting basket, I realized that I there, there was a need, like a need, okay, maybe not need, maybe need is the wrong word, but there were some things that I wanted to add to my collection and so for fall and so a lot of it's fall scents and yeah. So anyways, um, enough of that. You guys will see everything when you see everything and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.